They're both chief executive officers of companies, in one case that has caused the spill in the Gulf, and in the other case, that's the tar sands, two companies involved in creating tailings. So in terms of actually causing a hazard, there's no question they have caused a hazard. So you can be sure about that. The question essentially is, if you like, the, the, the size of the hazard, the duration of the hazard. It's not, is it irrecoverable? Because I'm just going to pause. It's a completely different example. It's like saying in a, in a wartime situation, oh, well, you know, we bombed Warsaw, but they've recovered. <laughs> Sorry, won't, that won't wash. And that's why the act is very carefully worded. The fact that it may recover with or without help from these two and their companies, and one appreciates they have spent money and resources. And of course, in one sense, it's not just that they're doing it, that they have to do this in a sense because of the, the business potential of the company. They're not going to ignore it and turn their backs, are they? So that isn't really the point, how much money they spent. Very welcome, though it is. The question is, in the first place, should this have occurred in this way, it has occurred. And companies, if I can put it in a sort of rather more dramatic form, cannot be given a license to spill and kill, provided they clear up the mess. That's what this is about. Strict liability and accountability for companies who indulge in this for all sorts of reasons you know why they do.